so guys uh, today i'm going to show how to register for a uh, p list editor using this uh, debugging tool so let's move to this uh, tutorial so let's see how to see how to do it uh, first uh, you need to install this uh, p list editor then uh, open it okay now i'm going to drag and drop into this uh, our debugging tool after that uh, i'm going to register to this uh, p list editor go to help and register you can give a name i'm going to give this name okay now i'm going to register so you can see this error message uh, so if you can remember this remember it because uh, we need this uh, error message okay now i'm going to use this uh, debugging tool so go to files and go to attach then uh, type uh, plist you can see this plist editor pro for windows then uh, click on it and uh, press attach okay now you can see this window go to this window and right click in here go to search for and all modules and go to string references it takes some time so we need to wait okay guys uh, the total progress is 100 so now go to your that uh, this is that uh, error message invalid register code so copy that and uh, give it in here you can see that error message double click click on it then you can uh, give this window you can see these are the details this is the uh, error message message invalid register code then uh, mm, down the, you can see that uh, thank you message thank you for register for register playlist editor pro so uh, go to that uh, again that error in here you need to change the uh, click in here this is the start point this is the end point it's a uh, jump into here you can see okay uh, now we need to give the uh, break point in here go in this message double click and uh, you need to again double click in here okay you can see this uh, assembly at uh, prompt that uh, pop-up message you need to change into jump GMP and uh, press ok ok now uh, close it now again you need to right click and go to patches you can see now go to patch file you need to give a, a proper name so i'm going to give this name uh, plist editor pro and uh, the file ext extension should be a uh, exe and save it okay press okay now uh, close this one and go to that uh, save folder this uh, created that patch file that exe file so double click go to help and uh, register you can give any name to register i'm going to i'm going to give this name okay now i'm going to register you can see this message thank you for register uh, plist editor pro okay press ok this is how to use that uh, debugging tool to register uh, debug this uh, plist editor and uh, for register so uh, thank you guys uh, watch this video and please subscribe my channel and uh, please please uh, comment and share so thank you guys hello guys so today i'm going to do uh, another reverse engineering tutorial using kali linux so let's start this uh, tutorial i have a file we need to find the password uh, still we don't know the password so i'm going to run this uh, file so first uh, need to go to that directory i ls this is the file I'm going to run this file so have fun.
can you see the permission denied we need to give perm permission ph mod uh, ph mod 7 have fun can you see that uh, it's changed that color now we have permission i'm going to run that uh, file have fun so enter the password i'm going to give uh, one two three checking password logging failed so we need to find that uh, password so i'm going to find that password using this uh, car linux we need the gdb debugging environment so if you don't have that you need to install it uh, type sudo g uh, gdb and apt i hope you know this uh, apt dash get uh, install install uh, gdb then you can install it so i have already installed that uh, gdb tool so i'm going to give that uh, have fun now we are inside that uh, debugging environment so i'm going to give a break for the main break main okay now i'm going to run this program again run okay now i'm going to give a disassembler to find the information so you can see some uh, move uh, move moves and uh, some calling functions and some comparisons in here you have, can you see that uh, call function in here and in this uh, comparison so guys uh, i'm going to give a uh, breakpoint for these two comparison and these are uh, calling function these are the memory addresses so i'm going to copy this uh, memory address and i'm going to give a breakpoint b star and uh, press ctrl shift v then you can paste it and press enter now I'm going to give another breakpoint for that uh, comparison one. For this one, copy. V. So I'm going to give breakpoint for that one also. So now, guys, uh, I'm going to continue this one. So it's asking another again that uh, enter the password. I'm going to enter the password one two three. So if work prank is work. So now I'm going to call again this us so this is the breakpoint that uh, we put uh, i'm going to uh, get the check these uh, these two memory so guys uh, i'm going to check these two memory so fx and uh, going to uh, check this one first this rdi Uh, can you see that uh, given password one two three this one so i'm going to check that uh, this one rsi i'm going to check on that one also dollar sign and rsi so we got uh, some uh, details this can be our password so i'm going to copy this one I'm going to copy this one copy so we need to continue it uh, it's uh, checking because we put some breakpoints so and we need to continue again continue fail some uh, no we need to run yes that's the pro program uh, but we need to continue it again okay now we can uh, put the password let's check Yes, sir. we need to again continue because we put breakpoints. Uh, press C again. Yes, can you see continuing that uh, successfully logging, logged in. So good job. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to run that uh, have fun program. I'm going to give the password. 
yes he successfully logged in this is how to find that password using this car linux and ggb environment so thank you guys watching this video and uh, please subscribe my channel and please comment and share so thank you guys